Today we're going to ask the question, what's the link between fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis? So just as a reminder, first, rheumatoid arthritis is a autoimmune inflammatory arthritis which affects multiple joints, with the hands and feet being the most common. It causes pain specifically to joints, stiffness, swelling in the joints. This impairs function without treatment, causes permanent joint damage. Fibromyalgia is a chronic diffuse pain syndrome, so not specific to joints, but pain which can be felt everywhere. Its cause, similar to rheumatoid arthritis, is not completely understood. It is thought that fibromyalgia is a problem with how the body perceives pain. Fibromyalgia does not cause inflammation, although certainly some people describe like it feels that way. Essentially, with fibromyalgia, more pain leads to poor sleep, which leads to being less active, but less activity then leads to more pain, worse sleep, less activity, and so forth. So it really becomes this difficult downward spiral to get out of without appropriate management and treatment. Fibromyalgia in most cases doesn't have a specific trigger that we could say caused fibromyalgia. However, certainly there are many times where emotional or physical stress can be a trigger which eventually leads to fibromyalgia. Sometimes this stress may include chronic illness and a good example of that would be rheumatoid arthritis. One third of individuals with rheumatoid arthritis may get fibromyalgia. And it's really important to identify both in those who have both, because the treatment for them are going to be different. Rheumatoid arthritis relies on a type of medication in a category called disease modifying agents. And that helps settle the underlying inflammation. Whereas fibromyalgia is best treated without the requirement of medication, but rather through a very specific, slow, progressive increase in exercise, learning more about fibromyalgia through education, and improvement in sleep hygiene techniques. All these things require more information, and we have videos available on rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia and their treatments. For more information, though, in general, as always, please visit us at albertarheumatology.com.